If you take a bit of end of the world insanity, punk rock, and beat em up action, then mix them up in a blender, you'll end up with Charlie Murder. You'll choose between one of five playable characters as you romp through an insanely violent world and punch, kick, and level up your way to the game's epic conclusion. Told through a series of minimalistic cutscenes, the narrative centers around the band Charlie Murder as they attempt to sort through the mess of the end of the world and fight for their lives. As the game progresses, you'll start to see the story piece by piece told through flashbacks, some of which paint an unfavorable picture on the game's heroes. These portions aren't on display nearly enough, and I would have loved to have seen more of the game's world, but what there is, is great. Charlie Murder is a two-button beat-em-up with a jumping mechanic and some RPG features. Combat works really well, as each character has a decent stable of abilities to choose from, and there's tons of weapons and items to grab and use at all times. On top of that, there's some crazy sections that involve shoot 'em ups midget tossing, and a heap of boss fights. While I don't have any major issues with combat, the RPG system mostly falls flat due to the fact that the weapons and armor are largely rendered pointless soon after you acquire them. These flaws are less noticeable when playing with friends, however, especially online, and the game's impressive amount of secret areas as well as the PvP arena helps as well. Scott Studios has come a long way since their first game in Dishwasher, and the visual style reflects that experience. In motion, the game really shines, and the sheer variety of enemies will impress any beat em up fan out there. There's also tons of references, homages, and comedic easter eggs that have me smiling on a constant basis. Straight up, Charlie Murder has one of my favorite soundtracks in game. The rock-centric tunes really get you in the mood to punch things in the face, and when it needs to, the atmospheric noises and haunting tracks really fit the theme. I also love to listen to Charlie's screams as he uses his abilities, and the bone-crunching sounds of punches and kicks really work. Charlie Murder is a very serviceable beat-em-up, but it suffers from an uneven balance with many of its features. For every bit that doesn't completely follow through though, there's an interesting idea waiting to happen. It may not be for everyone, but I for one am glad Charlie Murder exists.